The art of brewing craft beer has recently taken off in Baltimore. The newest brewery, Waverly, just opened last month in Hamden. Waverly's brewmaster, Roy Fisher, started out as a home brewer. Catering people's weddings with home brew and I, I started thinking, hey, what if we you know, took this to the next step? And the next step was obviously a, maybe a, a small brew pub or even a brewery. After 12 months of planning, Fisher, with his friend and longtime beer enthusiast, Greg Lee, decided to take the dream of opening a brewery and make it a reality. He proceeded to tell me, hey, I'm doing, I'm doing this whole little brewery thing. And uh, I was like, well, I, you know, I used to work at Ford, you guys ever need anything, just, you know, just here's my number, give me a call, and I'd be happy to help. Lee has become a jack-of-all-trades at Waverly Brewing. Brewing, day-to-day -day operations with brewing, brewery production, uh, plumbing, gas work, electrical work, uh, metal fabrication, little interior design, uh, pretty much whatever needs to, needs to happen. Although small, this team is producing to its full capacity. System, we're putting out six barrel batches. So basically, one of our batches makes about 10 half kegs, or roughly uh, 160 gallons of beer. And that's not a lot when you think about it. I mean, we're brewing three times a week, four times a week, and we, right now, fingers crossed, we, uh, we're hardly keeping, we're barely keeping up with uh, demand. And the Waverly customer feels that these efforts are very worthwhile. This sombrero is a very uh, spicy, tangy, fresh uh, taste to it. Uh, Waverly is a good beer, it's a local beer, and uh, I, I enjoy it very much. Along with the customers, even the bartender has his favorite beers. Of all the beers here, like what's your favorite one? Uh, first off, when I started working here, it was the Turnbuckle Brown and the, the High Hun Red, which is odd because both of those smart beers I normally drink, reds or browns. Um, they're a little lighter. I really like the stout we just put out now, too. Okay. The, it's like sweeter. It's kind of light for a stout, but lots of alcohol. We are really doing our own thing. I mean, we're one of the only small brewery slash brew pubs, I think, in the city, and I can't really think of an analog that would that we could compare ourselves to. Reporting live from Hamden, this has been Xander Chris, WLOI News.